I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard by now, but Overwatch PvE is cancelled. It's a fugazi. Fugazi, fugazi, it's a wazi, it's a woozy, it's a f fairy dust. It doesn't exist. It's never landed. It is no matter. It's not on the elemental chart. It, it's not fucking real. This has a lot of people upset, and justifiably so. I'll actually play you a clip of me finding out about this news on stream. So Overwatch scrapped its PvE mode. No shot. Where'd you see that at? Live on, on Instagram? Let's go Google this chat. Overwatch 2 is trending. Okay, All right, interesting. Okay, okay, okay. What do we see? What do we see? Overwatch devs have given an update on Overwatch 2 PvE features, scrapping much of the original product. Many Overwatch creators and personalities are pissed. Overwatch 2. We're excited to finally share your PvE news with you. <laughs> there isn't any. <laughs> Overwatch 2 PV the hollow shell of what was promised. Years of content and drought for fractions of what was promised. No hero talent trees. Basically a regular Overwatch campaign being released in small pieces. It was all for basically nothing. What a heartbreak. People are very upset. You know the PvE story campaigns in Overwatch 2? You know the thing that justified the two at the end of the name? With replayable missions, skill trees for each hero, a long-term progression? Blizzard scrapped it and now is tied to the battle pass. It's actually over. <laughs> uh, you, all, you have to laugh at it. You have to laugh at it. It's kind of funny at this point that companies do this stuff. The gaming industry is a microcosm for what companies do to the population in general. It's just jerk us around left and right. It's actually very comical. For almost four years, we were led to believe Overwatch 2, when it happened, would have a large amount of PvE gameplay and PvE-focused features. I'm talking story missions, I'm talking skill trees, I'm talking things of this nature. The whole reason that we have an Overwatch 2 and not just a Overwatch was because we were waiting for this campaign, these story modes, these co-op missions. If not for those things, there's really not a point to calling it Overwatch 2. It's, it's Overwatch big update. Aside from it going from like 6v6 to 5v5, it wasn't a new game. Overwatch 1 was kind of dying. And I hate to use this in video game, in the video game space, because you get dumb people, oh, it's a dead game, it's a dead game. But it really was dying. The development was not there. This was partially to do because they were trying to focus on the PvE modes of Overwatch 2, the upcoming game. So instead of waiting for the full game to release, with PvP of course, but also with PvE, Blizzard decided to rush out Overwatch 2 with only the PvP aspects on it. And we were promised that PvE would be coming, and it would be coming at some point down the line. That was a lie. So the whole reason that Overwatch 1 was turned off was because there wasn't enough focus on it from the development team because they were focusing on Overwatch 2, PvE. Apparently it was taking up all their time. They couldn't really focus on giving updates to Overwatch 1, the original game. But now it's canceled. And now the thing that they were focusing on, turns out it's not going to happen. So what was the point of turning off Overwatch 1 and calling it Overwatch 2 with a few new features? It's not that hard to figure out what they were after. They wanted new hype around their product. They wanted more money. They got it in the form of battle pass, skins, all these things. That's why people like to complain about not getting loot boxes. So with all that being said, where does that leave us? Well, we are going to get some PvE. And I'm assuming that they're going to be pretty similar to the stuff we've already gotten as far as PvE is concerned in Overwatch. So nothing new. For me personally, I've actually really been enjoying my time on Overwatch too. I stopped playing Overwatch 1 when Apex came out. I was kind of tired of the game. I didn't really want to play it anymore. Now I feel that way about Apex. But when Overwatch 2 released, I actually started having fun again. It has me enjoying the PvP. The 5v5 was a good change. Did it warrant an entire new game? Not really. As far as content creation for me goes, I've done pretty decent when it comes to making Overwatch 2 content. It's been it's been nice. It's been kind of a boom. I was really looking forward to the PvE. I thought it would even help even more with my content creation. Now that it's not happening, I'm still going to play Overwatch. I'm still going to make Overwatch content. I guess it's just made me a little bit more concerned about the future of content creation in regards to Overwatch 2 and Overwatch 2 as a game in general. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, leave a thumbs up. I do make a lot of Overwatch content. This is sort of a standout from the usual stuff I make, obviously. But Hit me with a sub and stick around for more.